And we praise your holy name for guiding us together here. Thank you for protecting us. Thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you because many waters are passed under the bridge. But you kept us standing by your power. Thank you because amidst the devouring lions, you kept us standing by your power. Thank you because you are a rock. Thank you because you are a strength. Thank you because you are shelter in the time of storm. Thank you for your name, which is above all names. Thank you for the righteousness of your power. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Father, Baba. We are gathered at this program. Let each and every one gather there tonight. Experience the touch of Jehovah. And I prophesy upon every life gathered there tonight. There shall be no negative carryover. In the name of Jesus. There shall be no negative carryover. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's have a seat. God bless you. Amen. Amen. And let's listen very carefully. This has been a very interesting year. A year of many ups and downs. As we are about to position ourselves for the next year. It is important that I share these few words with you. We should help you to position yourself appropriately for the coming year. And I'd like you to listen very carefully. If there is anything at all that disgraces man, that puts man in trouble, it is rooted in just one word in scripture. Disobedience. I burn on. Disobedience. I burn on. When a man begins to disobey God, he's positioning himself for failure and disaster. A lot of people live this particular year in chronic acidic disobedience to God. And to some, is that the Almighty has shown them a yellow card. That if, that if they don't quickly run to what God wants, there may be serious trouble. I'm here to caution the careless and to warn those who are playing with spiritual things. In 1 Samuel chapter 15, 1 Samuel chapter 15, God gave an instruction to a king. His instruction was very clear. There was nothing cloudy about that instruction. Listen to me, beloved, and listen to me very well. That's why going to another year, and that year, you need preparation. And part of why you are in this service tonight is to teach you that preparation. In First Samuel chapter fifteen, the instruction was given to King Saul. This is what God said. In First Samuel fifteen three. 
Now go and smite Amalek. And utterly destroy all that they have. And spare them not. But slay both man and woman, infant and suckling, ox and sheep, camel and ass. That was the instruction. Verse 8, what did the man do? He took Agag, the king of Amalekites, alive. He utterly destroyed all the people with the edge of the sword. But Saul and the people spared Agag and the best of the sheep and of the oxen and of the fatlings of the lambs and all that was good I will not utterly destroy them. But everything that was vile and refuse that they destroyed utterly. Verse 12. And when Samuel rose early to meet Saul in the morning, and it was told Samuel saying, Saul came to Camel and behold, he set up a place and is gone about and passed and gone to Gilgal. And Samuel said to Saul, and Samuel came to Saul, and Saul said unto him, Blessed be thou of the Lord, and perform the commandment of the Lord. Telling lies to a prophet. And Samuel said, Samuel is what minute then this bleating of the sheep in my ears and the lowing of the oxen which I hear the bleating of the sheep he had not done what God wanted he had spared the sheep the goats and the best things and Samuel said, Have you really done what God wanted you to do? Have you done the commandment of the Lord? I've carried it out. Say, Is that so? Say, what is the meaning of this bleating of the sheep that I hear? Bleating of the sheep that I hear. Beloved, tonight is a night for serious self examination. In many lives this year, there is a bleating sheep. You thought you had it all sorted out. You thought you could hide things from God. But no matter how you hide those things, the sheep will bleat. The sheep will bleat. As a matter of necessity tonight, you need to set up a small cut for yourself. When you examine yourself properly, it will enable you to treat your spiritual wound while it is still fresh. Before it becomes rotten. This year, a lot of spiritual wounds have become rotten. Before we enter into the coming year, search out the pollutions in your spirit. Search for the throne of unrighteousness in your heart. All the characters you put up this year and the Almighty did not want to become your friend. That that bleating sheep in your life, you need to deal with them thoroughly. You either fight your weaknesses or you perish. 
acknowledgement of your weaknesses is the first step in changing your destiny. It is kind of insanity if you keep doing the same thing and you expect a different result. Until you show no mercy or sympathy for your weaknesses. Your destiny remains stagnant. One weakness can destroy a person completely. One weakness can put a person at the bottom of the ladder. One weakness can destroy a very beautiful destiny. Your, your refusal to carry out divine command 100% is a problem. That will not be able to work next year. For some, the final whistle had already been blown. And I'm here to help you. And unexamined life will lead to disobedience to God. So if you are here this you are looking towards the coming year and there is a bleating sheep in your life is crying out you are trying to cover up that anger covering it up the idolatry of the arts you are covering up the fornication you are covering up the drunkenness you are covering up the unseriousness you are covering up the pride you are covering it up let it be known to you that opportunity to change now that is how you can reposition yourself for the coming year if this is not done you become a candidate of spiritual impotency. And you give the enemy opportunity to strangulate your spiritual life. You will be unable to resist spiritual attacks. He said, Are you a Christian? He said, Yes. He said, I'm even a pastor. So, but what is the meaning of this bleating, the bleating of the sheep that I hear? This one bleating, what is the meaning? If you don't stop the bleating of the sheep, by being 100% obedient to God and making up your mind assisted by the Holy Ghost to change your ways. The enemy will just have a field day. The arrows of the enemy will begin to prosper in the person's life. You are in this year. You were unable to resist temptation. Therefore, anything the enemy wanted to do, he did it with you. You are in this year. You were threatened in your dreams. And the threat came to their life. During this year, you had the sound of the rapture. Others went, you didn't go. You are having the rapture failure dreams. Already this year, you have this hatred for long prayer session. You're getting tired in your spirit. You, you, sometimes you choose to commit sin instead of suffering. You only work for God when there is something to be gained. The Almighty will no longer stop back those things as you are entering into 
this year, you have been bombarded by tormenting anxiety. You are suffering from spiritual dullness. And a deep seated unbelief. Weak meditation, weak spiritual lives. The ship is bleating now. You need to go and silence of bleating ship. Some are deceiving themselves. They think they are deceiving everybody. You cannot deceive the devil. Is the master of deception. You cannot deceive God. God knows everything. At the end of the day, the only person you end up deceiving is yourself. I want you to understand this very well. Say, hey, the pastor has not seen me. Hey, nobody sees me. me. Oh, it's a lie. Even, you. Even if nobody sees you, hey, go back here, you? there is someone in heaven writing down the records. Hey, it's like the story of that small boy who followed his father to a farm to go and steal. To tell him about it. And the father said, Stand in that corner. Anytime you see anybody coming, say, oh! So that I can, we can escape. So the father bent down for the digging. The boy said, oh! The father said, who, who is coming? Is so anybody coming here? Can you come for lot two? But said no. Only that. Right. So then why are you saying who? Kilo de to watch here who? So that is somebody is watching you. Only Baba and any come way. Say who is watching me? Only that new woman. So somebody is watching you, Daddy. Only the come way, Baba. The man continue. Up for the dragon. The man said, Oh, oh, ha! Who is it? Daddy. Say, so, Daddy. Baba. Somebody is watching. Any come way. Say who? Tell me now. The boy pointed towards heaven. Oh my God, Baba, no mercy on God. Alone. Is watching. And the Bible says, what you do under your bed will be proclaimed on our stop. You can never be smarter than sin. Sin is a destroyer, smarter than everybody. It will blow out one day. And everyone will know what you are doing. This is a very serious matter. As a result of this beating ship, came the popular verse in this first sermon. Verse 22. And Samuel said, As the Lord has great delight in both offering and sacrifices, and has in obeying the voice of the Lord, so behold, to obey is better than sacrifice. And to hearken than the fat of lambs. So, or rebellion is as a sin of witchcraft. And stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. Because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord, he has also rejected thee from being king. That was all. Only one sin. Disobedience. Have you been disobedient to the Almighty this year? You have an opportunity before we enter into the next year. And to repent and do a roundabout turn. You may not have another opportunity. And this is why I'm giving you the opportunity now. Rise up on your feet, everybody. 
pata pata like well, everybody did. remains standing if you are in this meeting tonight I want you to understand what I am saying he said man of God I am not a child of God yet I want to become a child of God I don't want to enter into the new year as a child of the devil wherever you are I am only going to start counting from 1 to 10 run to the altar at the front here or any of the two altars at the back if you are not here by the time I count 10 I believe that you want to say Lord any plan you have for me tear it away I want to live my own life my own way so wherever you are find your way to this altar come and surrender your life to Jesus one two three Jesus is watching for you here and, and any of the two altars at the back four five I Six, ever. Seven, eight, nine, as Those of you watching us online too, on the satellite that you are surrendering your life to Jesus, I congratulate you. Just close your eyes and see what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. As from now, I say bye bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of life. In Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Because you've taken the most important decision in life. Father, I thank you for your children. Here. This decision they've taken in this 2010. Let it be permanent in their lives in the name of Jesus. Keep them standing by your power. Forgive them of all their sins. Keep them standing in a new way. 
write their names in the book of life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Open your eyes and look at me here. You've taken the most important decision in life. A decision that will propel you into your destiny. And I congratulate you. There is a special miracle service for you on Thursday. 5 p.m. At our headquarters at Olasimbo Street. Don't miss that miracle service. Because, because there we are going to pray more with you and cancel you. And if you do have issues bothering your life, our counselors will still be here even after this service to talk to you. God bless. You. Don't forget the medical service on Thursday, 5 p.m. at the headquarters. You may go back to your seat now. But if you are from outside Lagos, just wait and talk to the counselors. Right there where you are. Jesus bless us to do so. Everybody remains standing now. Everybody remain standing. Bow down your head and ask the Lord to forgive you of any sin that will keep you in a backward position. Any sin that will prevent you from being mightily blessed. Any sin you have committed this year that the enemy wants to use as a ladder to torment you. Begin to ask the Almighty to forgive you. Jesus is here. His power is in this place. Thank you, Jesus.
Voices like thunder as you pray this prayer. Make sure that nobody's voice is louder than yours. Say this loud and clear. The power of negative carry over. You are a liar. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray that prayer. Jesus is here. Jesus is here. His power is in this place. His glory is in this place. Aha. Jesus name we pray. Lord God Jesus. With multiple violence. You shout this again loud and clear. Every owner of evil Lord in 2010. Carry your Lord. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to decree. Decree by the decree of heaven. Decree by the decree of the Almighty. Master Kapala Kaya Boshendera Boshendera Baraba. Something is up there already. Oh God, you better see this In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, who called Jesus, that's a drop. Set my breakthroughs. And you're like a baby. Assigned to 2010. So why not do 2010? Look at me by fire. Really by now. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Masika pati la kaya boshanda. Ribo soponda kaya boshanda la masanta. Na kantanda la bosopola kaya boshanda. Ribo pia li kata. Open your mouth and declare it. Declare it loud and clear. Jesus is here. Jesus bani. Aha. Bani. Amen. Shout 21, hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Thank you, Jesus. 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 Say happy new year to somebody, beloved. Happy new year in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Say happy new year to somebody in Jesus' name. Happy new year to somebody in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Begin to praise the name of the Lord. Begin to thank Him from the bottom of your heart. It's a great God who does great things. The enemy has lost the battle. The enemy has lost the calculation. Thank you, Jesus. 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 We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. Jehovah Almighty, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jehovah Almighty. Sing it loud. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jehovah Almighty. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jehovah Almighty. Oh, we thank you, Lord.
Pray it with determination. Pray with a rugged violence. Because eleven, eleven is the number of extra measure. The number of overflow. Can you shout this loud? My father! My father! Change my garment this year! In the name of Jesus! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, Oh God, Allah, I'll favor me this year. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray for yourself like that. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Uh-huh. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, God, Jesus. Say this year. Lord, you. Every enemy that comes against me. Shall stumble and fall. What is this? In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Maseka pati la kaya boshanda. Ribo sependa kaya boshenda raba kataraba. Just seven. They must stumble and fall. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Uh-huh. In Jesus' name we pray. 
If you can shout this prayer loud, the angels that are here now are ready with your answers. What is your talk for Louis? Say this year, Lord, do ye? I must not fail. In the name of Jesus, I must not fail. Masika tenda kaya bo shandara. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, seven hot times, you will declare on your life like the Shunammite woman. It is well with me. You say it seven times. Then you had in Jesus' name. Are you ready now? Open your mouth and say, It is well with me. 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 In the name of Jesus. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I'll just sit for a few minutes, beloved. You Your right hand to me at the altar here. As I pray now, let your amen roar like thunder. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. All these hands that are pointed here to this altar. Let your power, your favor, your glory, your anointing fall upon this hands in the name of Jesus. Now these hands become the hands of healing. The hands of deliverance. The hands of power. The hands of strength. The hands of glory. The hands of the anointing. You those hands receive the touch of the power of God. In the name of Jesus. Lay the hands on your head now. Keep it there. And be silent. And be silent. So what that be silent. There are two fifty persons. Laying that hand of fire on their own heads now. As I count seven from here, those powers that do not want you to lift your head, the powers of failure are there to break through. They will disconnect instantly from your life. Also, as I can seven now, that stubborn infirmity that has been tormenting your destiny, tormenting your children, as I can seven, they would disconnect from your life. One, in the name of Jesus, two, in the name of Jesus, three, in the name of Jesus. Four. In the name of Jesus. Five. In the name of Jesus. Six. 
in the name of Jesus. And this is the final one. Seven in the name of Jesus. Yes. Ben. I decree that all the good things you lay your hands upon this year shall prosper in the name of Jesus. Where they do not know you before, your God shall promote you, they shall know you there. The kind of places they say you cannot get to. The kind of houses they say you cannot pay. The kind of certificates they say you will not get. The kind of progress they say will not belong to you. This year, in the name which is above all names, Jesus Christ, receive them now. Receive them. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray.